Hello, my friends. It is Friday morning, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. Oh, I'm wearing the stuff on my lips. I put it on for this video. Let's not even lie. Um, I am wearing the Elf Matte Lip Color. I love these in tea rose. And a lot of times I even just use this just to fill my lip in before I use a wet gloss. Um, and I'm using what I got, I believe, in Beauty Box 5. It's in the color Popular. It's by Nana Coco. Um, it's not sticky in any way. It's actually really nice, um, but it is a very bright color for me normally, so I tried to mute it down, and I made it into a soft pink, and I really like it. So those are the two things that I use. So this is my empties. Yes. I was holding off to want to um, use more products, but I was like, Jessica, this is going to be a long video already. Let's just get him a video, right? First thing, household product. I get this at Walmart. It is the multi-purpose Ready Shine Lemon Scent Cleaner. I think you get this for like a dollar. Lasted me probably about 12 times or maybe more than that. It's okay. I mean, the other brand ones are better, like scent-wise. But if you're not someone that needs to smell crazy, you know, scent and want something that still cleans, then that's it's not that bad. Um, I finished the Lullabies Baby Wipes. You get these at Aldi for about 80 cents for 56. They're okay. I mean, there's better ones. Um, also finished the Scrub Buddies 2-in-1 Quick Erasers. Get these at the Dollar Store, at Dollar Tree, actually. And um, really great deal, and they do a really great job cleaning around the house. I did dye my hair recently. I used the Revlon Color Silk Ammonia Free Revlon 3D Color Technology in Burgundy. And this stuff is really nice. Did not dry my hair out in any sense. Um, I put this in here just to remind you guys. This is a Banana Boat sunscreen. They do expire. This one had it on here and it tells you when it expires. Do not use expired sunscreen. It will not do anything for you. So make sure that you're checking those things, especially when you're putting your beach bags away or stuff for the summer. Um, you know, make sure that you check those things out. This is the Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil. I get this at Sally Beauty. I use this a lot on spot treatment on pimples. And also, I use it on my scalp. And I just let it sit as a treatment. And um, I think it's about $2.50, $3 for the $2.50, I think. And um, this lasted forever. So that was really nice. Um, I finished the Opti Free Pure Moist Clamp. Uh, eye contact solution. I couldn't get it out. This stuff's good. My still my favorite is BioTrue, um, but it's not that bad um, compared to that. Let me take some of this stuff out of here. This will make it a lot easier to to talk to you. I wanted to show you guys how much I had in the container. That's why I didn't have it set up already. But um, all right. okay. You guys ready? We got a little quick break here. This makes it easier when I go to throw all this out. Okay, so I do have beauty fails. I'll save those to the end. Okay, so I did finish my last Bergese uh, Mud Restorative Mask. I got two of these for like $2.99 on eBay. Wasn't a huge fan of it. I used it. Never will use it again. Finish the Lancome High Resolution with Collage Serum. I really love this stuff. This I got at the sale, the quarter piece things. If you watched my vacation haul, I got a great deal on high-end trial sa samples. Um, this wasn't completely full. I did use it for quite a bit of time. I wish I had more, um, but I really don't think I will take the plunge and spend that much money. But I do need to get myself another serum. I finished two Victoria's Secret um, sample size ones. I used Angel's only, did not like this. I used this as a room spray. And then I did use the Wild at Heart Pink. This was pretty good. Um, I saved a little bit in so I could spray it in. It smells like, like a sweet smell and like a musky smell mixed together. Um, I couldn't wear it all the time, it would bother me. Um, it's a 10. I got this in a lot that I bought on eBay and I loved this stuff. I thought it was just like all this hype people are just constantly talking about in YouTube and stuff, but this stuff really is amazing. So um, I need to add this to my list of stuff to buy. Okay. I'm going to do all my like sample size ones. What was that? 
something fell. Oh, whatever. Okay, so this came in my beauty box five is the Keratina Brasilia Brazilian Keratin mask. I hated this. Um, it is deceiving. There really wasn't much in there. It was not enough for my hair even, and I did not like what it did. I did cancel beauty box five, but I updated the other video. But um, they already had taken money out, so I'm going to be getting the September one. I'm not thrilled. Um, I haven't been a fan of the Beauty Box 5. So um, for now, I'm just going to get Ipsy, and I may replace it with another one. Um, haven't decided. Of course, I use the Facial Essence Cucumber on my face. Just the sheet mask. You find a big lots if you're new to my channel. And then I use the Coenzyme Q10 face mask. These are like my favorite. You get these on eBay. You get like five of them for $2.50. I found this one seller. And um, I only have a few left. Or do you get four? Four or five. It's still cheap. Free shipping, too. Um... So I'm going to have to look for these and put these to the side. Um, I got this in a magazine. It is the Jergens Original Scent Dry Skin Moisturizer. This stuff's actually really nice. I just did not like the scent. I like my other Jergens Moisturizer. Another thing from my Beauty Box 5. Wow, I used a lot of stuff from my Beauty Box um, very quickly. Usually that doesn't happen. The La Fresh Travel Light Oil Free Makeup Remover Wipes. These are okay. They weren't bad. They weren't great. Um, but they did the job and um, they were very small so a lot of times I used two. And I don't wear face makeup so just think about how many you would go through if you do. This came in a magazine. The Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. I love this stuff. I'm very fast becoming a Shiseido fan and that's probably a really bad thing because it's very very expensive. I finished the Tezo Zen Green Tea with Lemongrass and Spearmint from my Keurig. I just wanted to show this. Um, there's a lot more things than coffee if you're not a coffee drinker. I have a acai berry juice. I have teas. Um, you can get chais. You can get iced teas, lemonades. I have a lot of stuff like that besides coffee too. So just want to show you that I got the Zen one. And then, um, of course, I used uh, one of those packets that I have, Clinique, um, cleanse and exfoliate. I used this last night and um, what is this? Oh, I used the Boshia self-defense vital antioxidant moisture. Hated this. Um, I have one more packet so I'm just going to throw it in my thing that I put in swaps and stuff. Maybe whoever does a swap or whatever with me next will like it. It's very watery but it says it's for combination skin. I have mostly normal skin and just a little bit of dry so it's probably because of my skin. Um, I probably shouldn't even have tried to use it. And then I have uh, oh no I have one more and then I have four fails. Um, the Perlice, uh Essential Daily Moisturizer. I got this in Beauty Box 5. I think I've used four of the five things and one of them I gave away so I've used my whole Beauty Box 5 already in like a week, 10 days so I'm really proud. Not hoarding using products. Very proud of myself. This stuff was pretty good but I just love if it would focus. I just love um, my Jerkins, and this is actually high-end moisturizer. I love the Jerkins. I love it. It's a little bit thicker. I like the smell, um, but this stuff really isn't that isn't bad. I mean, it's very expensive. Um, fail products. Okay, I got these at Big Lots. Now I like the Den not Dentec Plackers. Uh, floss picks, and these are not my favorite. I'm gonna pass these on to my mom. Um, I don't think she really cares, but these weren't good for me, maybe because I have tight teeth. Um, I just did not like these. I wouldn't use them, and I need to have floss picks that I'm going to use. You need a floss. Um, I got this. This is something I got recently, and I do not like. I'm going to give it to my mom, the Garnier Fructis Daily Care Silky Secret Leave-In. You see, I barely used it. This smell is terrible. I can't even deal with it. It's like, ugh, it smells like chemicals and... Oh, I can't. I can't. And if it smells like that, then I don't know what's in it. So I'll give it to my mom if she wants to use it. Um, this is the Body Drench Candy Licious Cotton Candy. I got this in the other Beauty Box 5 box. And um, I just don't like cotton candy stuff. I actually used a good amount of it. Um, I probably used about, like, that much, which is a lot for a lip balm. But there's, like, it's still going. We have that much left, so I don't know. I'm going to see if my mom wants it. I mean, she's my mom. We share germs. Oh, I can sanitize it. Um, 
But um, now I can't get it back down. Yeah, it's not going to go back down. That's garbage. No, I'm an idiot. And then another thing I didn't like, I mentioned this in my last empties. I used the conditioner in the shampoo, which is actually pretty good. Um, but the body lotion of the Rain Kiss leaves from uh, Bath and Body Works, I just can't do the scent. So I'm going to give this to my mom for her purse or for her classroom. So um, really good empties. I'm really proud of myself. I'm just in the zone using products. I've been really perfecting my skincare routine and I need to do it after I take a shower. I get out and when I cleanse, and then sometimes I do the um, St. Ives Even in Bright Scrub that they came out with. Um, and then, this is like becoming a skincare routine, I guess. I come out, and then I would put a serum, but I don't have a serum now. But um, usually I would tone um, serum moisturizer. Then I have a day cream. Um, I have this other thing, I'm not flicking you off, that I put right here, and I use these fingers just to pat it on. Um, you have to be very gentle with your skin. People don't realize. You need to use upward strokes. When you're putting things on your face, you move upward. Um, because the minute that you start pulling and, and, da, 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 and pushing in and you're making wrinkles on your face, if you, people are like, no, no way. If you're doing this twice a day, which I do do skincare things twice a day, morning and night, even if I just put some moisturizer on that has SPF in it, I do that in the morning if that's the only thing I do for my skin besides cleanse it. Um, but if you're doing that twice a day, every single day, the same motions, you are creating wrinkles and lines on your face. So. Um, that is my empties. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great Labor Day weekend. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.